Is DC Comics finally going to let Batman kill the Joker? In the latest Batman issue, Bruce is more determined and obsessed with stopping crime than he ever has been before. And you know that things are serious because he decided to go full skinhead. Nobody just goes full skinhead without having a diabolical master plan. And as we all know, for like the past year, Bruce has been more aggressive, violent, and just unhinged than ever before. Because he's been under the influence of Batman Zurinar ever since he let him out during the failsafe storyline. And in this issue, it's no different. Zur isn't in full control, but he's still clearly influencing Bruce's actions and thought process. And while listening to the radio, he found out that the police were in pursuit of the Joker. So he started putting on his bat suit, and while looking at a picture of the Joker, he says something I never thought would come out of his mouth. I'm coming for you, Joker. I'm coming for all three of you for the last time. He then journeyed off into the darkness of the night, eventually landing at a crime scene where the Joker left a body and a bunch of clues for Batman to find his location. And apparently the hanging corpse in the room was Wilfred Lowmuller, grandson of Rosa Lowmuller, who founded a huge toy company called Play East Toys. So when Batman discovered the word grandma written across a baby doll's eyelids, he knew he had to go to Rosa's place of residence. Upon arriving to the creepy place, there were dolls covering what seemed like every square inch, and one of them was booby trapped, spitting gas lean directly on Bruce's cape and then lighting him on fire. Then after that, someone dressed in a giant baby costume swatted Bruce across the room and out of a nearby window, which was when Bruce realized that he needed to lock in. So he got up and threw his opponent onto the ground, then stunned him with a mega back kick, which gave him enough time to use his robotic hand to smoke him out and pull his mask off. The person under it was one of Joker's old goons named Floyd Shannon, and because he was dosed with so much Joker venom, he ended up dying in Bruce's arms, which which made him so angry that he said that that would be the last life Joker ever took. He then began investigating for clues again until stumbling across a room where the Joker was holding Rosa Lowmuller hostage on an old TV, but thankfully she was able to escape the Joker's clutches, giving Bruce some relief and allowing him to focus up. The next room he found himself in was a complete mockery of his life's greatest tragedies, including his parents' death, Jason Todd's death, Alfred's death, and even Catwoman's death because the Joker didn't know that she was still alive. The Joker mocked him the entire time he was in there, but eventually Bruce was able to find him. And upon doing so, the Joker asked for one thing and one thing only, the thing that he claimed he always wanted, to fight the real Bruce, not the Bruce who holds back, implying that he wanted to battle it out against Zurin R. And for some reason, this caused Bruce to lose control, falling deep into the abyss of his mind where Zurin R would finally step out of to take full control of the will, hitting Joker so hard that he flew up into the air and then landed directly on his back. Lost in the darkness, Bruce tried convincing himself that he was still in control, but when he turned around to see a bunch of different versions of Zurin R, it was 100% clear that he lost it. And holy crap, I'm so hyped to see what happens next. So if